Hi, this is Don Cusick, and I've written a book, Nashville Sound, an illustrated timeline that answers the question, how did Nashville become Music City, USA? It actually starts, really, for, with the Fist Jubilee Singers. Uh, after the Civil War, the Freedmen's Bureaus in the North sent people down to the South to teach former slaves how to read and write. So Fist starts off, and in 1871, they're running out of money. They're pretty desperate, to tell you the truth. And a guy named George White, who was the treasurer of the school and also uh, led the choir, he um, gathered some singers together, and they started off on a tour in order to raise money for Fisk. Well, the start wasn't too good. They were not getting crowds. They weren't singing the Negro spirituals, as they were called. They didn't want to sing them, to tell you the truth, because uh, that was part of the slave life. That was, they, you know, everything with the slave culture, they wanted to forget. Barry, don't want anything to do with it anymore. That's the past. But they started singing them. They changed their name to the Jubilee Singers. The Northern audiences loved them. And so they're packing out uh, concert halls, they're packing out churches, and uh, they raise enough money to buy the property that Fist sits on to build Jubilee Hall. And through the years, they continue recording and uh, even toured Europe, uh, played before Queen Victoria. Fisk Jubilee singers are still around today. They are made up of students from Fisk University. The other thing about Fisk is that they were real pioneers in African-American studies of music. A guy named John Work II and then his son John Work III did uh, extensive work on uh, preserving African-American nursery rhymes. Thomas Talley did work at Preserve the Jubilee Singers songs. So Fisk has really played a major, major role, and plus all the students that came out of there. Lil Harden, or Lil Harden Armstrong, attended Fisk for a while. She uh, then moved to Chicago, where she uh, joined Louis Armstrong, married Louis Armstrong, and became his manager. So uh, the Fisk uh, and the Fisk Jubilee Singers are a major reason that uh, we, have a, we have our first step with Nashville becoming Music City USA because this is the first time that Nashville is known as a town for music.